thoughts title ideologies are lies what is an ideology a simple and broad definition would be a system of ideas in other words a well developed idea the development of the said idea could have been executed by an individual or by a number of individuals now what is an idea a thought really a brain wave and what are thoughts something produced by or occurring in a mind what are these products of mind based on among other things the image of reality that the mind in question creates and has earlier created for its owner that is the person doing the thinking and the amount of time he spends thinking thus an idea even a well developed idea that is an ideology is basically just a fraction of a mind's throughput obviously so since a human being's mind or more properly his brain does a huge number of things and an idea even the most frequently occurring idea doesn't quite take too much of a brain space and time ideologues however deem it greater than the cosmos the reality itself to me this is the ultimate hubris a question may be asked do ideologues actually see their ideology as greater than the cosmos the real reality indeed they do if they did not why would they accept evidence supporting their ideology and reject evidence opposing it look at any 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 ideologue you will find him doing that a marxist a keynesian a creationist a muslim a nationalist look at any of them when do they ever bother to honestly study counter evidence to their hypotheses and the truth can only be known through evidence and logic really well yes really for the only truth knowable by us is the objective truth of course there are other truths but either they are not real truths that is they are only subjective truths or are not available for us to know what do i mean by that let's say i enter a dimly lit room in my farmhouse i see some menacingly long creature coiled in a corner i reach out towards the light switch but realize that i will need to inch closer to what could very well be a venomous snake i choose to back out and close the door i ask my ballsy younger brother to check it out with his strong torchlight he comes out laughing it is just a new row that he had bought and left the untidy coil in a corner pending proper deployment of the same the snake was the subjective truth until the light of rationality fell on it the rope is the objective truth however both these are mind created and mind mediated truths in reality the green apple is not really green and the red rose is not really red both are wavelengths on a continuum of electromagnetic radiation without a distinct green or red reality of their own my dog does not see the greens and the reds as i see them in fact he does not see the red at all that is because the evolutionary process never required his ancestors to develop the red cones that our ancestors necessarily needed in order to distinguish 
ripe from unripe fruit atop a fruiting tree that their troops used to raid. The real reality, the reality unmediated by a mind is not available to us even though it certainly does exist. For if it does not, where do the images that our brain presents to us as green apples and red roses come from? Unless those are diabolical signals being given to our brains for some end other than what it all seems. Either way, some reality must exist. That reality I term as the absolute truth. And this truth is not available to us since we can only know through our minds. The upside down two dimensional images on each of our retinas are presented to us by our brains or minds as upright and three dimensional. What it is an image of can only be truly known by an, an entity that can know things without needing their images, visible, tactile or otherwise, and without needing or having a mind. Life, dear friends, is nothing but a mind game and we need to make sure that we do not get lost in this game to the extent that the ropeness of the coil remains a subjective snakeness even when the evidence has proven to us that our subjective truth our idea our ideology was evidently wrong an ideologue however never lets go of his ideology when evidence countering his ideology turns up, he lets go of the evidence, not of the hypothesis. His subjective snake is always a snake, even if it really happens to be a rope. If it weren't so, on what non-existence evidence do the religious hypothesize their specific God's existence and nationalists consider their nations holy as opposed to other nations. Thus the problem that I have with the ideologues is that, is that they always let go of the objective truth which is the only truth available to us whenever it threatens reality. If it weren't, so they would have jettisoned their ideologies with the first availability of clinching counter evidence. But never does an effective ideologue change his top spots. Despite the fact that with increasing evidence and knowledge, hypotheses must change or be junked. Ergo, ideologies are lies. Thank you.